Today I'm going to be answering a question that many of you have been asking. How to help heal others. Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome to Freedom Friday where you learn how to free yourself and live your dreams. I'm Darian from Darian Empire. And as I said, today we're going to be talking about a question that many of you have been asking, how to help heal others. I've been getting this question for a few years now and I haven't answered it. Um, I've been getting it from mostly my Rocket Empath community. Um, and I think because us as empaths, we really come here with a deep desire to help people. But I really, really want to touch on this because there is a way to help others that can be really detrimental. And there's a way to help others that can be really healing and really beautiful and, and miraculous even. So I want to go into that. So we come here as healers. Um, let's say you're one of them and you want to help heal the planet and help all the people of the world that are suffering. <laughs> and you have this sense of responsibility to do so. I get it, I do. The first thing I would tell you is that you really want to do your own work because you know you really want to come from a place of authenticity from a place of um, experience and really knowing what you're doing and knowing what you're talking about and even whether it's you know um, whether it's talking to someone like this and giving advice and and doing it especially on a professional level uh, let's not be taking people's money <laughs> if we really don't know what we're doing um, and let's not be giving advice that is way out of our league and trying to dive into things that we really have no clue how to handle. So that definitely be my first thing is um, know what you're working with and be seasoned in the advice that you're giving, whether it, you're doing healing work on someone. Um, now we do work with our intuition and that's beautiful and you always want to follow your intu intuition but when you are doing healing work and you're doing all this kind of work you really want to know what you're doing know your limitations when it comes to helping others if it is way out of your league make sure that if you're going to help someone especially on a professional level that you have some people that are more qualified in deeper aspects um, than you are, let's say the people, like I, I am connected to all of my teachers, my master teachers, my certifiers, the, all, the whole nine, so that I always have someone to refer my clients to ha in, in a case where I can't handle something. Um, because I am not a licensed therapist, so if somebody is threatening to hurt themselves or others, I have an obligation to send that up to higher ups, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I make these videos and I do this because this is really my way of helping people because um, people can take what they want from it and it's really their own, you know, I'm not taking responsibility for what they take from it. I hope that you know that, that I'm not taking responsibility for what you choose to take from these videos. It's really just me lending myself to you. And, and I really think that that's the best way to go about any sort of healing. Because the number two thing is that really only people can heal themselves. That you really can't heal anybody. You cannot, at the end of the day, you can help to influence someone's perspective but you cannot change someone's perspective and someone can only help themselves and they can only be helped when they're ready to be helped um, so so there's a lot of like letting go when it comes to helping people and the really really big one is in many healers the ego can really get in the way 
and you want to make sure that your ego is not in the way. So if you have this burning desire to save the world and oh my god everybody's so messed up I have to help them I can promise you if it feels like uh, like there's a sense of responsibility like you something you have to do something's pushing you pushing you pushing you and it it really doesn't feel good then it's the ego and I want you to really really do some soul searching on this because it's hard to tell whether you have just an absolute desire to help people or if you're doing it for some egoic reason, whether it makes you feel like you matter, whether you don't even know what's going on, it's just this need to do something. Anytime you feel like you need to do something, and I used to have that, I mean, for years I had this, I need to help people. I need to do it. I felt like that was my purpose. And if I wasn't doing that, I, you know, life didn't even matter. And, you know, so I, it took a lot of really soul searching to realize that that was, that was really very egoic. And I couldn't help anyone when I was coming from a place of needing to do something. Anytime, I mean, the, think about it, the soul, the spirit, your inner self, it is divine perfection. It needs absolutely nothing. It knows that all is well in the world, within, everywhere. So when the healer has this sense of anxiety about healing the world, it is not coming from the very place that has the healing power. There's also something that a lot of healers tend to do is they take on this healer persona <laughs> and they think that people need to come to them in order to gain healing because they have this special link to some special healing powers. I don't know. There's a lot of healers that have this idea that, you know, they have the ability, they're special for some reason, that they have the ability to help heal others um, above other people. And that's really, that's goes, both of those things goes into the bucket of detriment <laughs> where you're just you're re all of this you're just not really going to help anyone so how do we really help heal others there is one true way to do this and it is really following what and I'm I'm not um, I'm not really telling you to follow any certain religion but Jesus really did live his life in this way and that is and because he was such a wonderful healer that is that you see the pure divine spirit in all and through doing that you know that there is no healing necessary that when you view every single one of your clients or the people that you want to help the people that, that seek your help, all you have to do is see them as perfection. They may have a disease, they may have a mental illness, they may have some sort of um, circumstance in their life that is hindering them from joy. Whatever the case may be, big or small, your only job is to know that their inner being is in charge. And all you have to do is be a sounding board for their inner light and a mirror for their inner light. And what will happen is through the law of attraction, if you choose to see the divine perfection in everyone or in the people that you are trying to help, then through the law of attraction, the divine perfection must come forth if you are a witness to that. And by you continually being a witness to that, it makes it more real. 
and it gets to the point where every time that person is around you, their truth comes out. And all you need to do is continue to remind them, I'm just showing you your truth. It's not any special power I have. I'm just showing you your truth. I'm blessed enough in this moment to be able to show you your truth. And I would say for any of the healers that do have this sense of superiority because they are a healer um, or because maybe they're more enlightened than others, I think that I know from experience that moments of enlightenment are such incredible blessings that to allow the ego to use that against anyone is it's really a dumb idea. <laughs> I was trying to be, you know, a little more poetic there, but that didn't really work. So just because I have been to a state of enlightenment and I have, you know, been able to see the world with clear crystal vision, and then I walked right into a, another storm and I was blind once again. So I know that those moments of, of, of clarity, they are not indefinite. They're not guaranteed and they are an absolute blessing. And so I would hope that you would take that as a blessing and, and want to be able to say, you know, oh, I can see again. Let's help the world as much as I can. Let me help to bring clarity to as many people as I possibly can while this is still alive within me, while I am still awake. Because when the shit hits the fan, you may fall back to sleep. Take it from me. <laughs> so a really beautiful way to heal, to heal others and to help others to heal themselves is to understand that you are not ultimately the healer. You, in community, you are the healer. You, as in the inner being, the higher self, communing with their higher self. That is the true healing and what you the, the true definition of healing in the spiritual sense is, is realizing that nothing ever needed to be healed in the first place. So it's, it's a perception shift. That is true healing, is to heal your perception. So when you heal your perception of how you're already seeing that person, you heal them and you help them to heal themselves. Is that a bit much? little wackadoodle. So I wanted to share a meditation with you guys that you can do to begin to help heal other people. This is something that I love doing for myself. I love doing it for some of the people in my lives. I've had some beautiful people do it for me in my life and it's really been powerful. Um, it really is a 40 day practice. You can do a 40 day practice if you'd like. It's also beautiful to just do once on your own. It is a Kundalini meditation. Um, called Ramadasa and basically what you do is if you are familiar with kundalini meditations um, you start off with a tuning in mantra and that is uh, you, we're gonna rub our hands together hold them at the heart and we say Ong, we chant Ong Namo Gurudev Namo Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. We do that three times. Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. That helps us to tune in before we actually do our Kundalini meditation. And then we will hold our hands like so. And I'll put a link in the description. Maybe I can find something to explain this meditation. And then we're going to sing along to a song that I have in my meditation playlist called Ramadasa Sa Se So Hung. So we'll do that while we envision the person that we want to help bring forth their already healed inner being. We imagine them in their beautiful light, already healed, already in their healed light. 
And we do that for, I believe it's 13 minutes or so, and then we end it with a May the Long Time Sun shine upon you, all love surround you. And we sing along to that song, which is also in the playlist. It's a beautiful meditation. Um, it feels really good to do. So I wanted to actually walk you guys through the whole meditation, but I realized that this would be like an hour long video. So I did not do that. If you really, really, really want me to do, um, to help you out and do some, some sort of like a meditation with you, maybe I can do like an audio meditation and do the chants with you um, just so that you can follow along with that. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I, the music is not owned by me, so I don't know. Uh, maybe we can figure something out. Or as of right now, I will just put a link in the description that will describe how to do that meditation. And it's a really beautiful one. And if you are familiar with Kundalini um, yoga or Kundalini meditation, it's the weird yoga where you do lots of chanting and <laughs> weird breathing, <laughs> things like that. But this is, I think, one of the easier ones. It's 13 minutes long. That's not an extremely long meditation. And I really love to sing along with the beautiful music. My daughter loved doing it when I first introduced it to her. And it's kind of fun to sing in like a different language. And um, of course, I will link in the description what exactly you're saying so that you don't think you're calling upon some weird ish because you're not. <laughs> So it feels really beautiful to do that. And if you guys have any kind of uh, meditations or rituals or, or some sort of practice that you can use to help heal, heal others as well and tap into their inner being that is already whole and complete and beautiful, thus healing themselves, healing your perception of them and vice versa, please share in the conversation below. Join the inspiration conversation. Um, also, if you want to get these videos every single week, notifications for those, subscribe to my channel. You can head over to my channel and get tons more videos just like this one. If you are an empath and you want to be a rockin' empath, you can join my rockin' empath, hashtag rockin' empath Facebook group on Facebook. There's a couple hundreds of us, more than a couple hundred, like four or five hundred of us. And um, it's a rapid growing community and it's really awesome and we get to chit chat and you can meet hundreds of empaths just like you. If you feel like you're alone in the world, you are not, I promise you. Because nowadays we have the internet where we can all connect and it's really awesome. So there's that. And then also find me on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat. I'm going to start promoting my Snapchat because I'm Snapchatting all the time. If you want to see my new baby, I Snapchat her a lot and you can follow me at Darian Empire. Actually, I think my Snapchat is Darian Music, but I will link it down below so that you guys can find me. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. All right. I love you guys and I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.